Hello students, previous class we have seen the second chapter and today we will start the third chapter which is design of the operation system. So in this chapter we will try to see first product and service design, how to design product and how to design service, then how to design the processing system or process selection then we'll try to see strategic capacity planning and we'll see also facility location and layout and lastly we'll try to see job design and work measurement so first let us start from process design so when you say process it is any part of an organization which takes a set of input resources which are then used to transform something into outputs of products or service so first we have input then processing system then output so when you say process is what the second stage in production system is process that helps to convert inputs into output so through processing system we can convert different inputs, different materials, different equipment, different human resources or informational resources into outputs in terms of products and services. So when you design such processing system we call it process design. So it is a set of activities that are taken together to produce a result of value to the customer. So a result of value to the customer in terms of goods or in terms of services. So process is a group of related tasks with specific inputs and also outputs we call it process. So when you process a system we call it process design. So we have to design the processing system just like we, we have to design the products and service and first we have to design the processing system. So when you say design, design means to conceive or picture the looks or arrangement or working of something before it is created and negar create kamara gachin betit first we have to design it the computer system lion chilal or a kasle lion chilal design marag tabaka banal so such one we call it design so when you say process design what tasks need to be done and how they are to be coordinated among functions people and organizations first what tasks to be done in order to produce products and service so we have to identify such tasks then how to how they are to be coordinated among functions, that's among departments, among people, and among organizations. So, so such coordination effort we call it process design. And when you see process types, operation process are distinguished by the volume and also variety of items they process in terms of volume and also in terms of variety of items they process. These two dimensions of operation process relate with each other as follows. So first we have low volume operations. Process often have a high variety of products and service. So the low volume operation in low, but um, variety with like and product at the same time produce in another corner. Then we call it low volume operations. High volume operations process often have a narrow variety of products and service. High volume operation the most standardized on a product in the corner. Volume but I'm cafeteria na variety of products you can cancel. Volume cafeteria on album in the bet gizi and one type or two type in marato product but I'm zuhono negergen a product type tennis corner we call it high volume operation low volume operations variety with them zuhono but yanda no product in marato bizarre or quantity with tennis corner we call it low volume operation so we have two types of process type low volume and also high volume. Generally from high volume and high variety through to high volume and low variety on which we can position operations. Call it to undo. To continue check out again, produce marag or process design action, design marag. So depending on the different volume variety of positions of the operations, there are different process types. So based on such low volume operations and high volume operations, we have different types of operations. These process types are first we have project processes, then we have dropping processes, batch process, mass process, continuous process, and in term in service we have professional services, service shops, and also mass service. So in, in product we have this one, and in service we have this one in manufacturing and in service operations. So first let us manufacturing process types. The first one is project process. Project process are those which deal with usually highest customized products 
So here we have high customized products. Defined start and finish. If you have a defined start and finish time and quality and cost objectives, we call it project. So when you say project, it is a set of related tasks and it has its own starting and ending time and there is also quality and cost issues or objectives so such one we call it project we call it project so many different skills have to be coordinated in such case so when you design the project process we need different skills so in such case we have low volume and high varieties volume but i'm telling you know that variety of product but i'm you know example ship building satellite assembly writing a book making a film developing software so in such case we have low volume product but high variety the product type but i'm zucona we call it project processes the second one is jobbing process job process also deal with very high variety and low volumes but on kaza odezi bemen meta bet gize volume ye chemera yemetal variety ye kanese yemetal so here as in project processes each product has resource devoted more or less exclusive to it in job processing each product has to share the operations resource with many others so project process ga bemenede bet gize ex land project exclusively yara so na resource no but when it comes to dropping process resource and the process kale lanyo process resource share la yaragu ichilaw skill requirements are usually very broad and example would work mechanic carpenter consultant and also doctors so in such case we call it dropping process so would work when i and sofa men amert kone letenyam sofa men amert kone and sofa le lanyo sofa resource share la yaragu ichilaw batch process as the name implies each time batch process produce a product they produce more than one so in such case we produce more than one product higher volumes and low varieties than for dropping so volume women meta but gizan ye chemera yemetal variety ye kanese yemetal so here we have higher volumes and low varieties than for dropping standard products repeating demand but can make specials so in such case if there is repeating demand then we can use batch processes and such one needs specialized skill example book printing bottling plant university courses clothes manufacturing so clothes manufacturing is repeated on a demand in oral but product to standardize on a product and then we have mass processes mass processes are those which produce goods in high volume and relatively no variety so volume on each and metal so in mass process we have high volume so in such case we have standard products low and narrow skills higher volume than batch examples cars computers electronics domestic appliances such as washing machines and process invoicing these are parts of mass product process product types continuous process here we make quality processing system called we call it continuous process extremely high volumes and low variety of a single product and here we have standardized product very standard product highly capital intensive and automated very computerized and highly capital intensive type of products are part of continuous process examples include petrochemical refineries electros electricity utilities steel making and some paper making are part of continuous pro petrol refineries for example sugar refiner tv broadcasts newspapers electricity chemicals police tv broadcast let me say makwala tell about continuous one service must at inor betal or petrol continuous on a process must not ignore this continuous for example if you see the picture this continuous water treatment process almost never stops it only stops for maintenance and performance in our range of tasks filters often we only notice the process if it's going goes wrong so process ma qarot and even minnaqo process wrong kid or something kata qarata process ga chigrala so such type of process we also call it continuous process let me start water water supply is part of such type of production system we can say that so if you see this table we have project doping batch production mass production and also continuous production so type of product in case of project we have unique batch product made to order and mass production made to store continuous production we have commodity so we have such difference we can see if you see for example type of customer one time customer in case of product and in case of continuous process we have mass market primary type of work if you see in case of project we have specialized contracts in case of batch fabrication in case of mass assembly in case of continuous production mixing treating and refining so we have five types of process production in case of manufacturing type of product 
and if you see in service type of production system and if you see the first type of process type is professional services and professional services are defined as high contact organizations where customers spend a considerable time in the service process so in case we have high contact organized high contact with customers so in such case customers spend a considerable time in the service process service operation a considerable time we call it professional services service provide high level of customization so in such case we have high level of customization that's and customers in metal so service so such type of we call it high level of customization the service process being highly adaptable in order to meet individual customer needs so in such case we have to satisfy the individual customer needs so if you see example We have management consultants, so in such case we have to provide special service. Lawyers practice also special service architects, special service medical services, auditors, health and safety inspectors, some computer field service operations. So these are examples of professional service, but professional born persons service to provide them in the corner, we call it professional service. Second, service shops. And this one is characterized by high levels of customer customer contact and customization volumes of customers and staff discretion which positions them between the extremes of professional and mass service so this one is between professional and also the next uh, type of process uh, mass services example bankers street shops store operators travel agents car rental companies schools restaurants and also hotels are examples of service shops mass services mass services have many customer transactions involving limited contact time and little customization service we call it mass services say so service may be equipment based and product oriented so this one is equipment based and product oriented with most value added in the back office and relatively little judgment applied by front office staff so bizun service mi qarbo be back office kono we mi demo be front office kal hona we call it mass example supermarkets Airport, telecommunication service, libraries, television stations, and police services. In the next case, the customer or the service provider or contact with them to mention. So such type of service we call it mass service. So this one is also part of process service. Then after we design the process, we have input, we have process, and we have output. So we design the processing systems, and we have to design the output or the product. We have to design the product or we have to design the service so such one we call it designing product and service so product design is the process of deciding on the the unique features of a company's product a company product minimum feature in order check but we call it product design products and service often was often the first thing that customers see of a company so they should have an impact so customers immediately meet product and type or service no so so we have to correctly design such products or service product and service design plays a strategic role in the degree to which an organization is able to achieve its goals so it has its own impact on the competitive advantage of the organization if you have a good product and service it designs then we can get a competitive advantage we can increase our revenue we can attract more customers then we can increase our profitability so it's a major factor in customer satisfaction product and service quality and also production costs so company should invest on product and service design so the customer connection is obvious the product or service is the main concern of the customer and becomes the ultimate business for the organization whether the organization is providing a good product or not the first connection with customers is with the product or service the quality co connection is twofold quality is obviously affected by design but also during production by the direct production conformity to the intent of design is also affects the quality issue Similarly, design affects cost also. Both the cost of material specified by design and the cost required to achieve the intent of the design will also affect the production costs. So we have to work on the product and service design in order to get the competitive value, in order to increase our revenue, in order to increase the profitability of a company. So let us see the objectives of product and service design. First, to bring new or revised products or services to the market as quickly as possible. In order to bring any or revise products, then we have to work on product and service design. 
የነበረው ነው ሪቫይዝ ለማድረግ ልንሰራ እንችላለን ኦር አዲስ ፕሮዳክት ሪሊዝ ለማድረግ ዊ ካን ዩዝ ፕሮዳክት ኤንድ ሰርቪስ ዲዛይን ሰከንድ ቱ ዲዛይን ፕሮዳክትስ ኤንድ ኦር ሰርቪስ ዛት ካፍ ካስተመር አፒል ካስተመሮች አፒል ያረጉባቸው ኦር ፕሮዳክት ዲፌክት ተፈጥሮ ካስተመሮች አፒል ያረጉባቸው ኦር ኮምፕሌን ያቀርባቸው ፕሮዳክትን ኢምፕሩቭ ለማድረግ ዘን we can use product and service design to increase the level of customer satisfaction in order to increase the customer satisfaction then we have to work on product and service design to increase the quality the quality of the product to reduce the costs or the production costs of the product then we have to work on product and service design so what's designed any product or service mind no design mind the product or service so all products and service can be considered as having three aspects first a concept second a package third the process a concept which is understanding of the nature use and value of the product or service product to nature min meslal product to use min meslal product to value le value of the service or product min nam milon min nay bet dimension we call it concept second package of component products and that or services that provide those benefits defined in the concept what are the components of the products and services and we call it package third the process define the way in which the component products and service will be created and delivered the product to component which and the product which ratio no component alluch or parts alluch enesu parts which indet no design midderagu and we call it the process so the process of designing products and services producing designed for product service itself is a process which conforms to the input transformation output model so pro and product design bemnaregebet input ratio yone input inoral ratio yone transformation inoral ratio yone output inoral so input is co- will consist mainly of information in the form of market forecasts market preference technical data and so on so input bemnelbet gize market forecast min min product ifelgal milo lion ichilal market preference min dinno lion ichilal technical data these are parts of input then transforming part resource inputs includes operations managers and specialists technical staff design equipment and software such as computer aided design systems and stimulation pack ye degmo yasgebano input wede output lemeqayer min ayne transforming system itayekal lemsale special yone technical staff litayek ichilal software litayekan ichilal computer integrated simulation package litayekan ichilal these are parts of transforming then the output of the design process is finally fully specified products and services according to customer's desires for quality speed dependability flexibility and cost here yeah, demo final output of the design process you know final design on a product you know, you know, in terms of quality in terms of speed in terms of dependability flexibility and cost to get a final design of product or service the design activity must pass through several key stages so we have to pass several stages in order to reach the output this form an, ex- an approximate sequence or so the practice designers will often recycle or backtrack through the stages the order in which they usually occur can be shown in figure below so we have this one the output concept generation we have screening we have preliminary design we have evaluation and improvement then we have prototyping and also final design so output in the zin am six stages malaki tabakabatan step stage one we have concept generation the idea the ideas for new product or service concepts can come from sources such as ka customers ya this product idea lena gen chilalen ka computers or computers ka addis idea lena gen chilal ka staff ka rasachin staff addis product idea lena gen chilalen research and development department of the organization also addis product idea lena meta chilal so we can get from such sources ideas from customers for example marketing the function generally responsible for identifying in product or service opportunities may use many market research tools for gathering data from customers in a formal and structured way including questionnaires and interview questionnaire now interview bemetakam addis idea ka customers mamtat inchilalen so and also ideas from computer activity compete kam yaragun companies ma addis product idea magnet inchilal all market our organic follows activities of their competitors so we have to follow our competitors activity a competing organization should to decide whether to imitate 
or alternative to come up with a better or different immediate margin challenge product at home at this idea at this or in a in a some product in provided again at this product in again challenge so sometimes this involves reverse engineering that is taking apart a product to understand how a company organization has made it reverse engineering in Tadakon at this product idea I'm talking to reverse engineering in Menelo and computer computer and product I'm talking component to change layer actual Kalayan ball and again I'm listening so such one we call reverse engineering. But the product in the that's a check mark in challenge. So we call it reverse engineering. And also we can get ideas from staff, from our staff, our staff. Then other this idea market in challenge. Ideas from research and development. Research and development department also at this product idea market in challenge. Second, we have concept screening. This involves assessing each concept or option. So concept again, then Allah, idea generate again, idea generate again. We have to screen the concept. This involves assessing each concept or option. Yanda no option assess mark the back banana. Not all concepts which are generally will necessarily be capable of further development into products and service. Evaluation design means assessing the worth or value of each design option against a number of design criteria. So we have to assess each design or concept of it is useful to think in terms of three broad categories of design criteria first we have to check the feasibility of the design option can we do it do you have skill skill do you have organizational capacity do you have the financial resource financial resource so we have to check it and we call it the feasibility of the design option second we have to check the acceptable acceptability of the design option do you want to do it does the option satisfy the performance criteria which the design is trying to achieve? Criteria no more, no less, no less. Acceptable number customer choice, sir. Let me know. Malafi tabak betal. The vulnerability of each design option. Do you want to take the risk? Risk kalu yana risk. Take my argument, sir. Do you understand the full consequence of adopting the option? Being pessimistic, what could go could go wrong if you adopt the option? What would be the consequence of everything going wrong? Everything going wrong with it, men happy la ragam ichla on the consequence of check mara get the back banana. So we call it concept screening stage. So we have to check the feasibility, we have to check the acceptability, we have to check the vulnerability. Then feasibility investment, acceptability return, and vulnerability risk on check mara. Then we have overall evaluation of the concept. So basic concept or overall evaluation to understand design mara the nara ginchla on or the nara ginchla on. Then we have preliminarist design. Kerma design. Having generated an acceptable, feasible, and viable product or service concept, the next stage is to create a preliminary design. The objective of this stage is to have a first attempt at both specifying the component products and service in the package. So in this stage, you have to specify the component products and service. Second, we have to define the process to create the package. The target the package and create minarag but in law. Stage you know, define marag package. So first, we have to specify the components of the package. The first task in this stage of design is to define exactly what will go into the product or service. That's specifying the components of the package. So product minimum is all or package minimum is all. Minimum specify my like the stage. This will require the collection of information about such things as the consequent component parts which make up the product or service package, and the component structure. So the, the, the component parts of the package have to be put together. So we have to specify the components of the package. So here we have to reduce design complexity should be done at this stage also. We have to reduce the design complexity. Simplicity is usually seen as a to among designers of products and service. So here we have to reduce as much as possible complex complexity on a product produce market package. Complex money but we have to follow simplicity principle. The most elegant design solution are often the simplest. However, when an operation produces a variety of products or services, the range of products and services considered as a whole can become complex, which in turn increases cost. So complexity which I'm going to cost to at the same time which I'm original. So we have to make the design simple. There are three common approaches to complexity reduction in order to reduce the complexity of the product. We can follow standardization, we can follow commonality, we can follow mod modularization. So, when you say standardization, 
operations sometimes attempt to overcome the cost penalties of high variety by standardizing the product service or process so if you standardize the product services or pro processes then we are we are reducing the cost penalties so in such case we are following standardization this allows them to restrict variety to that which has real value for the end customer often it is the operations output which are standardized so output product actually standardized my then we are reducing the complexity of the product the range of sizes is chosen to give a reasonable fit for most body shapes so labs are your body shape the message on a product men number to corner fit in direct card of no product then we call it standardized let me say ambassador suite ambassador suite roll it over at about this type of something and control the knowledge to learn this business standard product labs are your last customer suit the standardized unit or fit layer again so such one we call it standardization so by following such standardization principle we then we are reducing the complexity of the product second commonality Using common elements within a product service can also simplify design complexity. Using the same component across a range of automobiles is a common practice. Arat tamis said this is about product. Min namat kona nazi product ush bamo nu tamis asa yona component industry min nadir kona we call it commonality. Common yona part in the industry mara kin chalen. The more different products and can be based on common components, the less complex it is produced. So abzain yo product ajin tamis asa yona component industry common. Corner complexity we can say. Third, modularization. The use of a modular design principles involves designing standardized subcomponents of a product or service which can be put together in different ways. A demo subcomponent of product or parts of the product, they're gonna put together rather than at this product produce or create marag minchil corner such one we call it modularization. It enables to create wider choice through the fully interchangeable assembly of various com combinations of a smaller number of standardized assemblies. The basic idea is to develop a series of basic product components or modules that can be assembled into a large number of different products. Assembles in Naragachu it a product mouth at a mental corner kaza product we call it modularization. Example computers are designed in this way. The chip yaragno charger lam sale the Toshiba Mlisara each other. So in such case we are creating modularization. So the first stage component package. Second, we have to define the process to create the package. This other than package in produce menargument process on design market the package. The product or service structure and bill of material specifies what goes into the product. It's around in this stage in the design process where it is necessary to examine how a process could put together the various components to create the final product or service. So in this stage, we have to create the process. Process should at least be examined in an outline as stage of designing products and also services. So in this stage, we have to design the processing system. Then stage four, after preliminary stage, we have design evaluation and improvement. The purpose of this stage in the design activity is to take the preliminary design and see if it can be improved before the product or service tested in the market. So the market product comes out by fit, we have to evaluate the design and also we have to improve it. There are a number of techniques that can be employed as a stage to evaluate and improve the preliminary design. Preliminary design layout and all. Improve Mara So there are three techniques. Quality function deployment, value engineering, and also Taguchi methods. We can follow these three techniques. Quality function deployment. The key purpose of quality function deployment is to ensure that the eventual design of a product or service actually meets the needs of its customers, whether it meets the needs of the customers or not. It is a technique that was deployed or developed in Japan as Mitsubishi shipyard and used extensively by Toyota, the motor vehicle manufacturer and its suppliers. It's also known as the house of the quality and the voice of the customer. Because the house of the quality, because of the shape, the voice of the customer, because of its purpose. The technique tries to capture what the customer needs, how it might be achieved. First, we have to identify what the customer needs. Then, we have to achieve it. We call it quality. Quality function deployment. 
deployment technique. The principle of QFD is to generally identify the customer requirements for a product or service together with their latent importance and to relate them to the design character which translates those requirements to practice. Then the second technique is value engineering. And the purpose of value engineering is to try to reduce costs and prevent any unnecessary costs before producing the product or service. Alasfellagi cost kalu, alasfellagi production cost kalu, nasuni minnaswa gudu bet stay, we call it value engineering. Simply put, it tries to eliminate any costs that do not contribute to the value and performance of the product or service. The final product minnum contribute to the cost kalu or production cost kalu, nasuni minnaswa gudu bet stay, we call it value engineering. Value analysis is a name given to the same process when it is concerned with cost reduction after the product or service has been introduced. The third is the Tagush method and the purpose of or the main purpose of this method is to test the robustness of a design. So the basis of the idea is that the product or service should still perform in extreme conditions. In a more extreme you know, condition product malefic. I'm sorry, extreme weather, you know, but I'm hot, you know, weather, you know, but I'm because I don't know weather, you know, so such condition we call it extreme condition. So product actually an extreme condition, malef, each and always actually me below, check me now, but we call it how which methods. The task is then to achieve a design which can cope with all these uncertainties. Such procedure is a statistical procedure for carrying out relatively few experiments while still being able to determine the best combination of design factors. Here, best means the lowest cost and the highest degree of uniformity. So, such technique we call it Taguchi method. Then, the final stage is prototyping and final design. At around this stage in the design activity, it is necessary to turn the improved design into a prototype so that it can be tested. So, on, finally, on a product or service design in order to Virtual reality based simulations allow business to test new products and services as well as visualize and plan the process that will produce them. So, individual component parts can be portioned together virtually and tested for it for interference. Even virtual workers can be introduced into the prototyping system to check for easy of assembly or operation advantage. So, we can check through such technique. So, computers can be used for final design. So in such stage we can use computers and prototype particularly for manufacturing type. So here we can use computer aided design. Computer aided design. Final design check mark in chalan. So when the design has been completed, the designer can obtain a printed version. So we can get a printed version. The design can be filled electronically, make it as accessible to manufacturing person and others in the firm who have need for this information. So in stage call the production system deliver margin chalan so such a stage we call it product and service design product and service design